few days ago, I posted a vi A few days ago, I posted a video talking about how I think Google should go about and attempt to make their own Samsung DeX style desktop interface. And strangely enough, sometimes I make these videos that I think are going to be videos I can just post whenever I need a video to be posted. And I think that it's something that there probably won't be any news sort of popping up about. Well, this is one of those instances where I thought that was going to be the case, but in between filming and editing that video and publishing it, some news did break on that exact topic. So in this video, I'm going to quickly go over that news. So for those who don't know, maybe didn't see that original video, which link in the description to that one, all the way back with Android 10, we are on 14, and in fact there is a developer preview for 15 uh, already going, Google introduced a very, very basic, very stripped down, bare bones implementation of a desktop mode in Android. Now, what this allows you to do is basically have free-floating windows of your Android apps that can be moved around, they can be resized to any size that you would like them to be, and basically allow you to use your Android device, potentially on an external screen, more than likely on an external screen, just like you would use a normal desktop operating system. As good as Android is, when you put it on a larger and larger screen, that interface just starts to make less and less sense, and you start to kind of want actual window management like you're used to on Windows or on a Mac computer because that user interface just makes a lot more sense when you're on a larger screen, especially if you then bring a you know mouse and keyboard into the fray. You're going to need an interface that's made for that size and for those accessories. Now, an interesting layer to this is that Android 10 came out in 2019 and yet Samsung released DeX, their desktop mode, in 2017. I don't know the ins and outs of this, but I think that this is one of these situations, and there are several instances of this exact thing happening, where another OEM, usually Samsung, comes up with something cool like this, and then Google kind of does a little bit of work to make a clone of that or to integrate that sort of thing directly into Android, and that's what they did. But again, their quote-unquote desktop mode is extremely bare bones, and it's primarily there for developers to test things and for developers to build things on top of. Now, if we jump to more recent times with Android 13, we started hearing rumors that sort of buried beneath the surface of different betas and so forth, we had some changes being made to Google's desktop mode. Nothing huge, but changes, right? Which told us that, hey, they're looking at this again. They're doing some work, some experimentation, things that hadn't been going on for a very long time. And now we have something really, really interesting to look at. If we jump to this article on Android Authority, I'll put the link to the full article in the description down below, and I'm going to probably gloss over a lot of stuff. I'm going to focus on one thing here, and I'm going to kind of dig into it as best I can, but again, click the link in the description to read the rest of the video. What we have here is Michelle Rahman apparently being able to do some tinkering in the most recent Android 14 QPR3 Beta 2.1 update, they managed to enable Android's new desktop mode experience to see what these changes have been. And we need to play this video and maybe freeze frame some things and take a look at what's going on here. And since YouTube has all sorts of overlays and things that get in the way we're going to do this kind of thing, I just downloaded the video and we're going to do it this way. So this is what this desktop mode looks like from the start. Now, from what you saw earlier in the video with some B-roll, you're going to notice this looks very, very similar. So you still have a bar down here at the bottom. You have an app drawer. You have some icons that have been placed on the screen. And then there's a settings gear over there, system icons up in the top, a clock up there. Still a lot of stuff that could be improved, right? Like, why is there so much empty space up here? At the top. We're going to get into more stuff as we go. So what Michelle does here first is they select Firefox. And if you look here, you can see where they click. There's a little 
circle there that pops up and Firefox loads up in full screen. But you can see not only is there a bar down here, there's another bar up there that is a handle which they click on and you can see a couple of different options. So full screen, split screen, that looks very similar to what that sort of button looks like with uh, like a pixel fold device. So that's pretty cool. And this one here is going to basically like shrink the app down. So it's gonna be, instead of like on Windows where you have maximize and then minimize, you basically have a shrink button instead. So if we play forward here, he's gonna go over and click that button. We have some glitching there on VLC. We'll go back and try that again. There we go. So it shrunk down and you can see now that you have a window that he's able to click and drag that thing around wherever they want to. And then he clicks the corner and he's resizing it to whatever size. And then the content on it actually kind of reflows. And uh, yeah, it's done resizing. Also notice that you now have, instead of that little handle, you have this button here, which I believe is going to maximize it again. Now for this next part, this is where I think there is still like a lot of room for improvement. Watch up here. And he's going to click on X, or as I call it, Twitter. And Twitter has already been open. So rather than opening it fresh, it comes up from the bottom like it has been minimized. But unlike what we have with Dex or Windows or Mac, there are no minimized icons down here at the bottom. So it just sort of whoop comes up from the bottom, but you don't really have a great way to know that it was down there, which is a little bit odd. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what was going on there. I never thought I would need to switch from VLC to media player to avoid graphical glitches, but that's where we are. So we have Twitter or X, we have Firefox over here, and this is really quite neat. Michelle is gonna grab Twitter and drag it around over here to the side here in just a moment after resizing it. He's gonna drag it over to the side and what you get here is very reminiscent of snap layouts on Windows. So it's going to snap to that spot and then zoom itself in to fill up like half of the screen. And then he's able to come over and grab uh, Firefox and do the same thing. So you now have two windows side by side. Now, of course, they've just recently added in Chrome OS something very similar, but it takes it a step further because when you snap one window to the side, it's going to pop up and ask you what app you want to fiddle on the other side. So you don't have to manually drag another one over there. But again, this is a good start to that kind of interface. So now he's going to come up here and click on this little uh, drop down menu there. And you can see that that's where those icons have gone to that used to be over here. Now they are over here. So the same sorts of things are, are still available. They're just kind of hidden beneath a, a drop down menu now. So there are a few more things in the video that I'm not just going to explicitly show here because I want you to go to the article and watch it for yourself. But the overall feeling impression that you should be getting from this is that work is being done and it is headed in the right direction. Now, Michelle thinks that this might be something that is fully fleshed out and then in some sort of releasable state for Android 15. Of course, that is still some ways off and we're seeing the early work of this in the Android 14 QPR betas. I think that would be very, very interesting to see. And of course, we do know that Pixel 8 devices have the physical hardware to be plugged into a monitor and to display out to that monitor. And they have recently, in those very same betas, had that functionality enabled. So another little piece of evidence that this type of thing might be coming. It may be with the Pixel 9, Android 15, and of course, this would potentially go back to the Pixel 8 Maybe you're going to be able to plug your Pixel into a monitor and have a Pixel-ish DeX-style layout coming sooner than you think. Although, all of this stuff is sort of a speculation based on this little bit of work that has been done. Hard to say exactly where this is going to go, but it's interesting to see these little things happening, these changes being made. So guys, like I said... Click the link in the description to check out the full article and video. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.